Al-Qaeda. Many of you probably remember these guys from the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. After all, billions of tax dollars were spent to fight these guys over there. Remember how the media used to call them terrorists and whatnot? How things can change so quickly in times of war. Now these same guys are being paid with US tax dollars to fight in Syria. And even though they are not Syrians, in the media they are now referred to as Syrian rebels. Or freedom fighters even. We're sending them weapons, funds, foods and resources. Even though these guys are still killing our soldiers in other countries. But hey, they're doing Obama's dirty work, right? So you don't hear the media complain about it. Now this war has taken another turn to the worst. Christian cleansing, and we're the ones funding it. Lee Stranahan has been in Beirut, interviewing survivors of the... Let's see how he said this... Malula fight. And we passed that religious cleansing was the motive all along. With forced conversions in an effort to empty Malula of its Christian population. Check the description for more links on the subject. This is Lee Stranahan in Beirut, Lebanon. One of the things that got me interested in coming over here to the Middle East was the attack on a small Syrian village called Malula, about 45 minutes north of Damascus. Now, the reason this was interesting is it's hard to figure out why Malula would be a military target. The impetus seemed to be that it was religious. Malula was a mainly Christian town, and it's got historical significance, it's got cathedrals, it's got monasteries, and it's one of the last places on earth where Aramaic is spoken, the ancient language that many scholars think Jesus Christ spoke. So I was back at home in Dallas reading about what was going on in Malula, and it seemed to me as though the attack was religiously motivated. And it seemed to me that if that was the case, it was significant because some of the people doing the attacking were U United States-backed forces, U.S.-backed pre-Syria coalition forces working in conjunction with al-Nusra, who are the al-Qaeda-linked fighters. And I could see that the rebels had posted videos on YouTube, you can find them, of them attacking Malula. So I knew the attack was happening. And while John Kerry, the U.S. Secretary of State, was saying, that these pre-Syria army forces were the moderates. You can see in the YouTube video that they're shouting Alu Akbar as they attack the town. So that was what was going on. Uh, and that's what really, the fact that there was very sketchy reporting on it made me want to come over here to the Middle East. So since I've been over here, I've actually been able to interview a few survivors of Malula, people who were there, people who were natives of Malula and they confirmed the worst stuff that I thought, basically. It was a religious attack. It was explicitly they, they were trying to get them to convert. People were killed because they were Christians. If you go to leestranhand.com, my website, I have audio where I interviewed these survivors and they said that. So this is significant to me because it's the United States on one hand claiming that we, we're supporting only the moderates but the moderates were attacking and killing Christians. So that's Malula. Until next time, I'm Lee Stranahan.